Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and today we're going to make the famous Moroccan gazelle horns which are sweet crescent shaped cookies filled with an almond paste which is flavored with orange blossom water. So let's get started. For this recipe we're gonna need 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 120 grams of soft butter, one egg, 30 ml orange blossom water, 250 grams of peeled and roasted almonds, 60 grams of soft butter, and 150 grams of caustic sugar. I'm gonna start by making the dough, so I'm going to add the flour and the butter in a bowl. I have also added a pinch of salt, and I'm just going to rub the butter and the flour until it resembles coarse sand, just like this. It's really similar to short crust pastry. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of the orange blossom water and two to three tablespoons of water. Just add enough to make a soft dough ball. Just knead it for one or two minutes. After one or two minutes, I have my dough here and I'm gonna let it rest for at least 30 minutes. I'm going to make the filling now. So in a food processor, I'm going to add the almonds and I'm just going to blitz them a couple of times until I get a fine powder, just like this. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients, that is the sugar, egg, the soft butter, and the remaining orange blossom water. I'm gonna mix everything well until I get a nice sticky paste, which we're going to use to fill our cookies. So my paste is ready. This is how it should look like. It's a little bit sticky, but don't worry, we're going to use some oil so that it will not stick too much. So I'm just going to leave it aside. So I'm gonna start portioning the almond paste in small cylindrical shapes. I'm just going to dip my fingers into a little bit of vegetable oil and this is how you will have to portion your almond paste. I'm gonna do the same with the other ones until I'll finish the paste. Okay, so I've got 19 pieces of almond paste and now I'm going to work out my dough. So the dough has rested for 30 minutes. Now I'm just going to portion it into four and I'm going to take each piece one by one and I'm going to roll it very, very thinly. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour so that it will not stick. Just don't add too much flour. And I'm going to roll it thinly. Okay, so my dough is rolled. Now I'm just going to add my almond paste. But before we uh, seal the cookie, I'm just going to add a little bit of water on one side so that it will stick just like this. And just shape it in such a way so that it will resemble a crescent cookie. Just like that. After you have sealed it properly, you can just cut it with the cookie cutter or with the knife. So this is our first gazelle horn cookie. And I'm going to do the same with the other ones as well. Just make sure that the ends are sealed properly, otherwise it's going to burst while baking and you don't want that. I'm just gonna leave it aside and I'm gonna proceed with the other ones. are ready to be baked but before baking them there is one more important step that we need to do and that is pricking them with the skewer three times just make three tiny holes inside of each cookie so that they will not puff up during baking 
Bake the cookies for about 30 minutes at 180 degrees or until they are golden. So after 30 minutes my cookies look like this. I'm just going to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar. And now I'm going to show you the section as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.